Now let's use what we learned in the iterative division algorithm video to convert from decimal base 10 to binary base 2. So um, let's do an example. Let's convert decimal 25 to binary. So using the iterative division algorithm, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set a equal to 25 and we're going to set B equal to 2. We set B equal to 2 because we want to convert to base 2. So like we mentioned before for octal and hex, we set B equal to the base that we want to convert to. So now we're ready to do the division algorithm. So we're going to take 25 divided by 2, so A divided by B, and that gives us 12.5. So then we set Q equal to the integer part of 12.5, which is just 12, and we set R equal to A minus BQ, which is going to be 25 minus 2 times 12, or 25 minus 24, so our remainder is 1. And then we ask ourselves, is Q equal to 0? And our Q is equal to 12, so the answer is no. If the answer is no, we're going to set A equal to Q, which is 12, and we're going to repeat the algorithm. Okay, great. So now a is 12, so I'm going to take 12 and divide by 2. My b is not going to change. 12 divided by 2 gives me 6.0. So I'm going to set q equal to the integer part of 6.0, which is just 6. I'm going to set r equal to a minus bq, which is 12 minus 2 times 6, which is 12 minus 12, or 0. No remainder, which makes sense because we get an even 6 when we divide uh, 12 by 2. And then we ask, is q equal to 0? Our q is 6, so the answer is no, so we're going to repeat the algorithm. Set a equal to q equal to 6 and repeat. Okay, great. So then we take 6 now and divide by 2, we get 3. So we're going to set q equal to the integer part of 3, that's just 3. We're going to set r equal to a minus bq, and that is 6 minus 2 times 3, which is 6 minus 6, so our remainder is 0, which is what we expect. And then, at this point, is q equal to 0? Our q is 3, so the answer is no. So we'll set a equal to q equal to 3 and repeat. Our next step, 3 divided by 2, this gives us 1.5. So we'll set q equal to the integer part of 1.5. So q will be 1. We'll set r to a minus bq, which is... 3 minus 2 times 1, which is 3 minus 2, or a remainder of 1. At this point, is q equal to 0? Our q is 1, so the answer is no. So we'll set a equal to q equal to 1 and repeat. So our next step with a equal to 1 now we have 1 divided by 2, that gives us 0 0.5. So we're going to set now q equal to the integer part of 0 0.5, so that's 0. We'll set r equal to a minus bq, so that is going to be 1 minus 2 times 0, which is 1 minus 0, or 1. And now we ask, is q equal to 0? Our q is indeed equal to 0, so the answer is yes. That means we're going to stop the algorithm. But to get the result 
of the conversion to get the conversion result, what we want to do is we want to collect all the remainders and we're going to collect those from bottom to top. Or the most recent one that we generated to uh, the previous ones. Okay, so our remainders, there's the first one, well the bottom, followed by another one, we go up the line, followed by a zero, followed by a zero, followed by a one. And that is the beginning of my algorithm. So these are all the remainders as I collected them from bottom to top. That means that, therefore, um, 25 in decimal, so 25 base 10, is 11001 in decimal base 2.